Looks like you have some lineup changes to uh, deal with again tomorrow, Coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's been pouring a lot, so we were having to deal with uh, Smith out for at least a few weeks. Um, he's going to get an MRI, and we'll see. Um, and uh, Bobby's out. Uh, hopefully he can come back against Boston. Uh, it's not broken, but... Uh, can't uh, can't hold a stick. It's too bad because he was playing superb hockey the last five games, and uh, he was a big part of our scoring. So, uh, and then uh, Anderson sick. So uh, right now it doesn't look like he's going to be able to play for tomorrow. Did, was there a specific incident where? Uh, oh, well, there must have been where, where Bobby yeah hurt his finger. I, yeah, yeah. It's on the, it's on the board's uh, second period. So from the second period on, uh, you know, he tried but he couldn't. So. So he was out. I mean, it's a, it's a top end player on the first line, uh, playing his you know outstanding hockey, and so that that was a big hole for us. For uh, after that, we had to fill. The guys did it. You know, a lot of character guys uh, in and in and out of that line, trying to uh, compensate for that loss, and you know we're able to get that point. But I mean, I was hoping he'd be able to play uh, uh, tomorrow, but uh, it won't be the case. What was he specifically doing? Good. Outstanding hockey, like same as he was doing last month of the year, last year playoffs. He's moving his feet. You know, you, you know, Bobby's a lengthy guy, eh? and those guys, uh, you know, when they get their speed going, like they're surprisingly fast. And you know, he's able to force himself uh, into uh, tight situations, terrific hands, making great plays when they seem to be no plays. Uh, he's going to the net. He was scoring. Uh, making making huge plays uh, and he's and he's actually very good defensively so when you have a guy like that uh, you know with stone together uh, I like I, I love having them together because they're both smart and reliable so then you can play them against the top line of any team and now Bobby's not there so it's it's I uh, got to compensate offensively and defensively uh, so he was uh, he was playing great, uh, and you know when he got his injury, he he had a terrific beginning of the season, uh, and then he got injured for a, you know a month, and then when when he's back, you know I was expecting maybe two weeks before, and that's pretty much what it was before he started to get his groove back, and he just got his groove back, and then he's gone again. So I mean it's it's been tough mentally for him, it's been tough for our team. We've been tried and we've been. <laughs> Uh, having to deal with all kinds of these things for, for the last little while, but we're going to have to deal with it again and find ways to uh, to come up on top uh, uh, tomorrow. And obviously Smitty the same thing. He had missed a lot, and he was getting his groove back, and he was he looked really good yesterday, and we're losing him too. So it's the same two guys again. So it's, uh, it's tough to see that, and it's tough for them. I feel for them personally. Uh, and our goaltender was, you know, played uh, probably like three of the last four games. He played, he was himself. And uh, you know that's why we're able to get uh, those two wins and that, and that uh, basically that tie yesterday. Um, so it's sad that uh, you know so it's sad that he won't be there tomorrow most probably because I really would have wanted to see him again tomorrow for sure. Coach, what did you see from your team in its own zone last night? There were a, and I know it's Tampa and a high end skill and everything else. Lots of shot attempts, lots of zone time. What were was that we had a all terrific, Tampa? We, we had a terrific first period. Uh, we had a very good third. Our second was tougher. They pushed back, and uh, I think I think our guys were surprised by the pushback because we were we were so good in the first period and we were in control. And uh, well, the second period looked like what we see on video against other teams. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, I think it's more about them than than less and less about us on that one. Yeah, I, I'm always trying to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like the other day against Mini, they were good. Their their big bodies uh, hurt us down low in our zone. That's how they were they were getting their momentum. But they also got it because of our penalties and our turnovers. Uh, this time it wasn't the case. Tampa just got it because they're just so good. I mean, that's they're just so they destroy teams. Uh, we watch video sometimes. It's like, oh my God, the other team's not touching the puck so it was a lot about them it was less about us I would say in that second period uh, and then we had our pushback and uh, we adjusted to a few things defending some of the stuff that they were throwing at us in the second period and it was good enough for to get a solid third period uh, and you know what you know we had three times the lead against uh, uh, 
you know, against a top team in the league in their barn. So we did a lot of good things, and despite the fact that, uh, you know, Bobby, uh, you know, was basically out in the middle of the second period and um, didn't play the third period, and then Smitty, you know, was also, uh, you know, missing, uh, kind of trying to finish the game, but uh, almost missing. So uh, a lot of character in that game, I would say, and, uh, you know, I don't think a lot of people thought we'd get a point out of that game, and uh, we gave ourselves a chance to win it, actually. Uh, you know, we made a mistake on that second goal, turnover. That's our fault. Uh, it's too bad because, you know, if you, if you stay ahead, uh, maybe you win the game by one goal. But I think all around, you got to look at this as something very positive. You know, there were, we've, we've, we've won two, uh, played two good periods against Minnesota, and then, you know, we, we hung in there with the best team in the league. So there's a lot of positives to draw. Our goalie was good. Eric was good. Uh, you know, Bobby was playing terrific. Our penalty kill was very, it was outstanding against the best power play in the league. Uh, our power play scored again. Uh, uh, you know, it's three goals in two games now. So, you know, there's there's a lot of good things that we can uh, draw from that game for sure. Players talking about uh, going 3-1-1 one, and one in their final five games before the Christmas break. Yep. Does the break come at a good time? I think so. If you look at the injuries, if you look at uh, the way we were tested and uh, the number of games we had on the road and all that, of course. Uh, so we, we'd love to uh, to, to finish uh, uh, this stretch here. And, you know, if you look at... Um, the stretch that ends after the two games uh, in in Sweden, you know, we're eight three and I forget eight three and something, right. so yeah, eight three and five. So that was very positive. We had that major tough stretch on the road, basically, and um, and you know, you know, coming back home and getting sort of a normal NHL schedule. If we can get that game tomorrow, you know, it, it would make us three one and one. So you know, you you you'd look at our team in normal circumstances. You know what? Normal circumstances, this team will have done pretty good. It's it's we had trouble managing managing that tough stretch there with, with with everything that we talked about before. So hopefully we're able to give ourselves a chance. We'll need help from the American leaguers, uh, from our guys to give us a big game because with the guys missing, they're big pieces. And, uh, and you know, Condo probably is going to have to be in nets and come up with a big one too. And uh, that's where we'll be at.